All right. All right. Day one. Sorry, we were on a speedboat. <laughs> this was day one. Um, we went to go, oh. We went to go find birds. It was five in the morning. Um, so purple martins, they leave obviously at sunrise for the day and then they come back at night. So you have two chances to see them during the day, sunrise and at night. This is us seeing them at sunrise. Those are all purple martins. Look at how many. This is probably not loud. Okay, great. Cattle egrets? How cute. Look at how cute. Wow, amazing. Um, this was the, uh, no, I did not stream there, but I made videos. I think there's six YouTube videos that are coming out of this trip. Isn't this the coolest thing you've ever seen? We stayed at this lodge, um, in the freaking Amazon rainforest, and it was beautiful. Like, the accommodations were amazing. Um, it was super, super nice. Um, and so this was like the lobby of the, the hotel. Am, am I quiet? It looks fine on here. I feel like other people would say that. I did not see a harpy eagle and I did not see any dinosaurs. Um, this was my first bug sighting. It's a, it's a weevil and he's really cute. And I don't know what kind, um, but he was cute. Here, I'll turn my gate up. There you go. This is on the Rio Negro. This is on a boat. Wow, amazing, beautiful, incredible, insane, honestly. It's actually insane. New shoes. Yeah, these are my new boots. These are my new boots. This is also Rio Negro. Check this out. That's the sound of the boat motor. But wait, listen to, listen to the birds. No boat motor. You can't hear that, can you? Cool, huh? Ooh, jump scare. <laughs> I will say I saw a lot less bugs than I expected. Um, a lot of birds, not a lot of mammals. So I heard a lot of cool bird noises, saw, saw a lot of new cool birds. It was cool because the people we were traveling with obviously love birds. And so they were like counting new bird species. They have like a list of how many birds they've seen. And this one lady at the end of the trip, um, she had found or had added like 85 new bird species to her lifetime list just from being there for like 10 days. Very cool. Um, yes, this was a jump scare. This was at dinner. Um, it's a little wooden carved sloth. Uh, and I wanted to buy him, but I was too afraid to ask. So unfortunately, I left him behind, but he probably likes it here better than he would like it in America. I found this cicada. I don't think he was well, honestly, because uh, otherwise he wouldn't be Hi. letting me hold him like that. Oh. He's cute, though. Yeah, he's a big bug. Cute. <laughs> cicada. Okay. <laughs> There's a big spider. It's called a golden something. I saw this when we were on a, a jungle hike um, through the Amazon. I wrote, he's literally just a baby because this is a baby. Um, and fun fact about this spider, the spider, uh, if they bite you, they paralyze you for a couple hours. Not permanently though, just a couple hours. <laughs> the hand in this picture was our guide. Um, and he was so cool, his name's Leandro. Um, he grew up indigenous. This guy was so cool. There's an interview that I did with him that are gonna go in the Amazon videos. Oh, he was so cool. Um, he grew up indigenous. So what he said to us is that he was like living in the jungle naked until he was 13 years old. And then when he was around 13, um, his family moved into like a more modern town or, or community. Uh, and so, and there were a lot of like Indian people that moved there and so they started eating a lot of Indian food like curry and stuff like that And he didn't like it because he was like this is not like the food that I grew up with and this doesn't feel like me and his dad 
was the leader of their indigenous community and he told his dad this is not indigenous like i don't want to i don't want to live like this i want to be myself and then he left at 14. um and he came out to the jungle to be a tour guide crazy um so now he's a tour guide at this uh, he's been doing it for i think like 20 years um so he takes people into the rainforest and teaches them about everything. And he knows, like, it feels like he knows everything in there. It's so cool. Um, he has, like, all these tricks. And he told us about, like, there's this, like, ant nest. You put your hand in it and they bite your hands. And you, like, rub them all over your hands and it's mosquito repellent. Um, so he did that, which is kind of sad because all the ants died. But no mosquitoes bothered him. They have, like, a, a bullet ant glove situation that I still don't fully understand about like you know becoming a man where you have you get bit by a bunch of or stung by a bunch of bullet ants bullet ants are like one of the highest pain scale insects uh, not the highest but like one of the highest um Eduardo can tell you he's been he's been stung by one before um but yeah they have to put a glove on with bullet ants inside um so yeah he was very very cool um, and it was really, really interesting to talk to him. We did a really cool interview with him. I'm excited for you guys to see that interview. Um, really nice. He's really nice. And he told me, he taught me all about like this spider and this guy, this is a, uh, this is a weevil. I don't know the actual, I don't know the, the common name for him. Um, I don't know the scientific name either, but, uh, Le Leandro told me that, uh, he makes holes in wood. That's all he said. He was, and I don't think he thought he was that interesting. He just knew that I was really into bugs. And so every time he saw a bug, he would just like point it out. So I got to pick him up and this guy makes holes in woods. And I thought he was really cute. This guy, baby praying mantis, you kidding me? Oh, you hear that sound? Listen to that. That's a bird, and they call it, um, they say it's it's a bird. I forget what it's called, but they say it's like the police of the jungle because every time they hear any movement, they just start alarming off. And Flip and I kept calling them nature's narc, but no way anybody told us that. I think we made that up because I don't think they say that at all. But it was, they were saying something like the police, <laughs> like they act like the police or they like tattletale on people. And now I for- because we kept calling them that, I forget what they're actually called. <laughs> um, but you hear those, like, everywhere. Um, so, they're cool. Eduardo said it, did he? <laughs> the thumbnail. <laughs> there it is. Doing its thing. That's a loud bird. Nature's narc, everybody. So you can hear him here. Cool, huh? I found these little mushrooms. They were jiggly. Kind of cute. I don't know what they are. I don't know anything about them. Fun game, find the moth. I posted this on my Instagram story. Do you see the moth? Or no, I posted this on Twitter, huh? I could not find it. I can't find it. It's right there. There, found it. It's right there. No, I found it. I stared at that for so long. I see him. I can't find it. There. <laughs> In the center. He's right here. That's a moth. Here he is. See, there's his little legs. Um... This is Leandro showing us a bird-eating spider. You can hear nature's dark. Bird-eating spider! What's cool about this spider, too, is it's not even big. Um, in Brazil, they have Goliath bird-eating spiders. This is just a normal bird-eating spider. Um, and yes. They eat birds. Smile. 
pretty cool. Um, I saw one of these as a specimen. Uh, I didn't see any live ones um, in the in the wild. But it would have been really cool if I did. This is a little owl um, that I saw. I visited a uh, a local community on the river. There's like 17 families that live there and like 50 people total. It was really cool. They showed us uh, they showed us a lot about how they live and like what they eat um, and how they prepare the food that they eat. Um, and they showed us all these, they grow a lot of plants, um, a lot of plants for like medicine and stuff like that. I ate a marijuana leaf. <laughs> Mekdi, thank you for the eight months. Uh, which I don't know. Um, it was fine. It was like really sour. It was just the, it was like the leaf. And he was just like, here, eat this. And I was like, okay. <laughs> uh, for, for any of you curious, it, I did, it didn't eat very much. And I didn't feel anything. I don't know if you even can by eating the leaves. I don't think that the leaves are what people... I don't know anything about marijuana. Um, and I ate some other plants. Uh, one plant he gave me, he was like, here, eat this. I just stopped asking because he kept giving me plants to eat. And I just trust him with my entire life. Uh, and I was like, oh, what's this one? And he's like, it, it numbs your mouth. And I chewed it in my whole mouth went numb. <laughs> My whole mouth. And I was like, oh, I don't like that. <laughs> um, thank you for the 17 months. Uh, it, uh, yeah, it made my whole mouth numb. It's kind of weird. Um, Jambu is what that was. They, they put that in a lot of cocktails too, they, in a lot of alcohol. Um, and it, it makes your mouth tingle. But when you just Chew on the leaf, your whole mouth gets numb. Um, he showed me a plant uh, that he said if you heat it up and then squeeze the juices in your eyes every three days, it gets rid of cataracts. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I don't, I don't have any cataracts, but that's crazy. Anna, thank you. Little chicken pot pie, thank you. Um, I don't know. They do a lot of crazy stuff out there. I don't know anything about it, but it was really interesting. Um, they don't use any pesticides also, which is really fascinating as an ag major. Um, and they only water supplement supplement supplementally, um, which makes sense because it's the rainforest. One thing I was not prepared for in the rainforest, I didn't know, is that, oh, I guess I did know, but I didn't think about it, is it dumps rain. It rains a lot. And I know that sounds really stupid when I say it like that, but it's just like out of nowhere, it dumps rain and then it goes away and it's beautiful and then it dumps rain again it's, it's like shocking also huge mistake huge mistake and it does not rain that much in texas i brought a rain jacket that's not a rain jacket and i thought it was but it's it's like weather resistant not waterproof so it did nothing nothing it just soaked all the way through the rain jacket it was i didn't have a rain jacket so one of the guys on the tour gave me a poncho and I wore that. Welcome back. Darwin, thank you for the 10 months. Um, so that was really nice of him.